All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, Shalom. Um, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey branch. And um, this is Matthew's, the sixth chapter. And I wanted to read a few verses here because it pertains to the prophecy and time in which we living in all right you know this thing is happening before us everybody's feeling it you know the fears looming you know like i said in my latest video people who contacted me and asking you know uh where i'm going what i'm going to do you know what's my plans and all i could tell them is believe in the lord and that ain't what what people want to hear well well guess what that's your lot my lot is to watch and pray OK, so I want to read here what, you know, and this this lesson is to the whole for elect to keep in mind that, you know, trust in the Lord. This is all we can do. The Lord is going to have to fight for us. You know, now, if this thing die down, it die down. All right. But guess what? The, the Lord still is on it, still returning. All right. Things are still going to ramp back up and get to his worst. All right. You know, and this thing might not die down. This this possibly could be, you know, which Esau live, you know, he live and die by his word that by the year 2020, everybody will be microchip. You know, it seems as though they shutting down everything to reset and to bring forth a new way of how to live. You know, ain't no telling what they may may announce. They may announce a uh, war with China. You know, they may announce, um, you know, med medical martial law. We're, we're in a form of martial law now. All right, everybody receiving a vaccine. The vaccine could possibly be the chip. You know, they're gonna they're gonna do this, man. All right, the scriptures say he calls of all, both small and great, uh, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand on their forehead, and that he is Esau. All right, and that mark is the is karagma, which is the chip, that device, that's incision up under the skin. All right, now I just want to read here a few verses, and I hope that you're edified. This is Matthew six and twenty five. It says, therefore I say unto you. Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on, is not life more than meat and the blood than raiment. All right, so, you know, if you watch Elder Apostle Tahar's video, he uh, stated, you know, brothers do got to use wisdom. You know, you go out and you 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 buy what you need, you know, maybe a little extra, because if you got to be closed in, you probably need extra water, you know, you probably need extra soap, you know. So that's that's not, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, a lack of faith. That's using wisdom. The thing is, you have to understand the difference between um, uh, what's wisdom and what's not. You know, what's wisdom and what's a lack of faith? That's wisdom, you know. But here, you know, at what Yahweh Shai is speaking, you know, if you you uh, don't have uh, uh, nothing, then guess what? Rely on the Lord. The scriptures tell you in Sirach, the second chapter, that he said um matter of fact let me let me get that one second let me get that real quick this is Sirach the second chapter and it um and um this is verse verse uh verse 10 look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. All right. Because the Lord has always been with his with his, with his elect, those that that believe in him. And it says he saveth in the time of affliction. So a famine. It's, it's on its way, you know. There's going to be long lines. They're probably going to have certain centers open, FEMA camps, you know. Well, guess what? The Lord said this, and this is all, you know, through the act of faith. It says, therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. Because when you start caring for this flesh, you know, you're going to you're gonna have a lack of faith. It says, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Now, we're all going to end up being uh, thirsty, hungry. You know, because, hey, your shit can run out. All right. You might can't get to the stores. It's too, it's too chaotic. 
you can't get what you need, pray. You know, it says, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. It says, is not life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither. So like here. Okay, make sure. It says, Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feed of them, are ye not much better than they? So if the birds can eat, and they don't know, they don't plan, and if they can eat, how much more us? The Lord knows we need things. The Lord knows exactly what these devils plan to do unto us. All right? they, they The Lord knows what Esau is, is cooking up right now and what he's holding back and waiting to... Uh, to uh, put out there to let us know what's going on. All right, the Lord has so, so, sought out all of your counsels, man. He knows everything, and you better believe that the Lord is sending His Son, Yahweh Shai, on His way to deliver the elect. All right, it says verse twenty-seven. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? You know, you can't add height to yourself. You can't, you know, uh, uh, you know, give yourself extra longer arms you know soon we will because remember spiritual powers is on his way okay it says which of you taking thought can add one cubit unto his statue and why take ye thought for raiment consider the lilies of the field how they grow and toil you not neither do they spin because when the lilies and flowers they don't get fed do they you know bend over and you know and 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 and, and mourn you know they don't talk. It said they toil you not, neither do they spin. All right. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if the most high so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow it is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. So now is the time to pray for greater faith. You know, for the brothers that's lacking faith, pray for greater faith. You know, we're in the flesh. You know, your flesh is going to have you scared. The scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. But guess what? Ultimately, your faith is in your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. It says, wherefore, if the most high clothed the grass of the field, which today is, just like the Lord allowed Esau to rule in his society and everything that we see with our eyes is happening. Okay. We can see what today looks like. The Lord did this. And it says, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. So just as well as. You know, in a few days, you know, it could be chaotic out here. It could get ugly. Things can speed up for the worse. All right. It says, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven. You know, the Lord said that this thing was going to come fast when it come. When Habakkuk, it says it shall wait for it because it shall not tarry. All right. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. And I'm roughly paraphrasing it, meaning that it's going to speed up. This possibly can be it. So treat it like it is it, you know, don't be of little faith, man. It says, um, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. Therefore, take no thought saying what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink or what or wherewith shall we be clothed? You know, don't be worrying about those things too much. You know, you know, of course, we we you are going to worry because you're going to come it's going to come into mind because you need food to eat you need raiment clothes and, and refuge you know everybody wants that but guess what we're not doomsday preppers man you know we're not um gonna get bugged out out of our mind because we don't have what we know we need the lord already knows we need it it says therefore take no thought saying what you shall eat or what you shall drink or wherewith shall we be clothed for after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. You see? You see? It says, for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. You know, because two-thirds of our people, they're considered, you know, like Gentiles today. You know, they just as well as be. Because their mindset is not on the Lord. They don't care for the Lord. They care and they move just like these heathens. Being dismayed at the signs of heaven, you know, looking at the eclipse and worshiping it, doing everything that these heathens do. All right. So it says, for after these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Now, these are words of Yahweh Shai. 
So know that the Lord knows that we need things, man. All right. It says verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high. That's why it's important. Put everything to the side. Sacrifice. And 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 um and seek the kingdom of the most high. That was important. All right. That's very important. You know, that's why you shouldn't have cared for, you know, and this goes out to those who was who uh who 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 uh tarried to come into this truth. You should have put everything away. Now all of a sudden you wanna have some works, you know, but we'll see, man. All right. It says, but seek ye the seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So if our minds are strictly on the kingdom, everything else is, is gonna be given to us, man. You know, we, we have to use these scriptures, you know, uh uh to the Lord and and not say uh, I want to say and remind the Lord, but guess what? Uh the Lord already knows. But when you get weak, you know, speak to the Lord with his words. You know, remind him. You said this, Lord. You said that. That's what I'm going to do, Lord willing. All right? Lord, Lord, give me the strength and the, the continuing the faith all the way to the end. I'm going to, uh, Lord willing, you put, you recockwadash the Holy Spirit on me. You know, you, you, you read these scriptures to the Lord. You say, Lord, you said this. All right? It says, um, but seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take no shall take thought for thing for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So tomorrow is going to be what it's going to be, just like every day now, every freaking hour, every two three hours, there's something new, you know. This new restriction tomorrow is going to be another new restriction. They're saying uh, you can't come outside at the eight or something. You know, they're saying that the, the uh, National Guards is going to be in the streets now. You know, I know they're at the airport and things like that. But, hey, the scriptures say, For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is is the evil thereof. Because evil is coming, man. Uh, somebody was telling me about how Trump said, We need to get off the internet and we need to be on our knees and praying. So what the fuck he got, what he, what he got coming? He got hell coming, man. All right? I don't know how he said it. Someone just basically said he said it. He said that. You know, I don't know how true it is. I didn't see it with my bodily eyes. But a person said that to me. And I said, whoa, you know, because he knows he's about to bring that hell. You know, there is going to be resistance, man. All right. In this place before he, you know, he's trying to introduce, uh, uh, implement that chip. And if they, they really going to do it this time, it's going to be resistance, man. You know. People are going to die. People going to get locked up. You know, a lot of people going to take it. All right. If if they go ahead and implement and force, you know, through, through a vaccine that, you know, now everybody has to take a chip. You know, even with the, uh, you know, vaccine itself, if it's not a chip, you know, it's going to be resistance and shit, man. You know, and this thing die down and, you know, whatever. Um. There was another scripture I wanted to get before I closed out. Salakia, so like, yeah, let me ponder real one second. Yeah, Salakia, so like, yeah, I can't um, remember what it was that I wanted to grab, so I'm gonna close on out and um, read the scripture one last time, and, and um, I'm gonna close out on that. Matthew six and thirty. Wherefore, if the Most High clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall He not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. Oh, see, the Lord brought it right back. There it is. Um, I want to go into um, yeah, the water you how about you Uh let's go into Isaiah, Isaiah and 65 and 11. It says, um, but ye uh, but, excuse me, but ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. And who is that day? That day is the two thirds. It says, but ye are they that forsook, that forsake the Lord, Yahweh. All right. You know, you despise. Now you want to, you know, everybody want to want seeking answers now from the, from the prophets. You know, well, we warned you already. All right. That forget my holy mountain. What is that holy mountain? That government, the government of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. All right. This word, his law, statutes and commandments. It says that prepared table for that troop. That troop is Esau. 
You see how you 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 fear mongering? Excuse me. Um, yeah, you guys that are in fear of this coronavirus. You know, look look what you done did. You know, oh, I can't touch you wearing gloves and masks on, and now you allow Esau, <laughs> you know, to come in here and uh, shut shit down because you wasn't watching the prophets, man. All right. But anyway, the Lord said these things were gonna happen. So we all playing our lot. You just a part of, you know, that's that's just your your lot in the movie. That's your part, you know, to be to fulfill these scriptures. So it says that prepare the table for that troop and that furnace the drink offering unto that number, which that number is the two thirds. It says, therefore, will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spec, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. And that's exactly what two thirds of the Lord's people did. And that's what they're continuing to doing as, a, as I speak. All right. You know, so the Lord said he's going to have you bow down to the slaughter. He said, when he has speck, you did not hear. How did the Lord speak? Through the prophets. All right. He says, but did evil before my eyes and did choose. Notice the key word there, choose. You chose not to follow the Lord in the ways of righteousness. Right. It says, verse 13, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat. So us brothers that's in this truth, you know, we're going to eat, man. The Lord said that his servants are going to eat. We serve the Lord, man. All right. In season and out of season, week in and week out, constantly pushing and uh, this word of the Lord out there to the hopeful elect that's scattered. OK, it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Who is that ye? Who is that you? The two thirds, right? That despise this truth. Behold, my servants shall drink. Meaning what? We're going to be merry. Brother's going to be drinking yin yin, man. You know, drinking a uh, strong drink. It says, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You see? So, you know, all this, uh, you know, trying to figure out things now, you know, you know, we'll see. The Lord show mercy, he show mercy. If he don't, he don't. The scriptures say, make no turn to turn to the Lord. For suddenly, you know, he come and get you in your security. You know, and there is Israelites that's going to wake up too at the end. We call them the 11 o'clock Israelites. You know, they're going to see brothers with spiritual powers and they're going to believe. You know, a lot of people just in fear of and scared of what was, was, was going was to go down and what Esau is going to do. But I guarantee you, if this thing die down, they're going to be right back out there doing what they've been doing, doing the things that the Lord did not delight in. All right. In verse 12, as it says, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So you're going to go right back to it. You see. But those that do believe. All right. They're going to be sealed by Yahweh Bashem Yahushua at this very end. So let me read 14 and I'll close out. It says, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And that howl for vexation of spirit, that means you're going to be screaming, man. You're going to be screaming because you're going to be so vexed. You know, you're not, you're not going to be comforted in, 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 your, in your mind. All right. That heart represents your mind. Lob. OK. Your mind. Right. Verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord Yahweh shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. Mm. It says that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the most high of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the most high of truth because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hid from my eyes. So the Lord got us, man. You know, the Lord is going to show how much he loves us by saving us from the uh, these these Edomites, man. You know, the scriptures say in verse 17, for behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth. That's why all this trouble has to happen. The Lord is putting an end to these Edomites kingdom. You know, while they sitting back and thinking that their plan is going to come to flourishing, it's going to it's going to it's going to follow through and their agenda going to be set. They're meeting all their goals. The Lord is going to come down and get them while they are eating, man. All right. That's Job, the 20th chapter. Matter of fact. Um, I'm gonna get that right after this. It says, "For behold, I created, I create a new heaven and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come 
into mine. So when the Lord destroy you Edomites in his kingdom, and our kingdom is set up through Yahweh Shai, we're not going to remember this shit no more, man. That's why in Job, hey, he's drawing me to Job. Job said this shit is going to be like a dream, man. It's going to be like a dream, man. You know, it's going to be like Esau's kingdom, you know, this, this shit that he got going on today, this wicked, um, uh, faithless world, this society that he got going and, and um, abominable and unclean spirits here, you know, we're in the kingdom. We're going to forget about this, man. Uh, scripture saying, Job, it's going to be it's like your dung, like your dung uh, uh, being washed down the toilet, man. Roughly paraphrasing. You're going to forget about it, man. It says, and behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. Mm. You see, you hear the Lord, man? Not you Edomites. You're not creating a new world for us. You're not the most high. The Lord said, but ye, uh, but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. Mm. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. So, man, this is once this is over, we're never we're never going to be vexed we're never going to be hurt we're never going to be crying and mourning anymore man that's why this has to pass through it has to go down man all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh let me read that again and i will rejoice in jerusalem which jerusalem is a people before a place okay so he's talking about the people not just the land he says and i will rejoice in jerusalem and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her for uh, nor in the voice of crying. There, there shall be no more thence an infants of days, nor an old man that have not filled his days. For the child shall die in hundred years old, but the sinner being in hundred years old shall be accursed. It says, and they shall build houses and inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. All right, so that's that's it on that, right? Um, I said I wanted to go into Job real quick. This is Job, the 20th chapter. And um And th and this is a this is strictly talking to you Edomites, man. You know? Um Right, this is Job 20 and 21. There shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. All right. So when he, when this Edomite, you know, in the fullness of his sufficiency, you know, when he has his thing, he has accomplished his works, right? While he's accomplishing his work. Matter of fact, let me look this up real quick. Sufficiency. The conditional quality. Mm. Self-sufficiency or independence of a character, especially. The conditional quality of being adequate or sufficient. It says an adequate amount of something, especially of something essential. Right. Okay, so let's go back to the scripture. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly... The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So while these devils are doing their thing and they're chipping and chipping away, the Most High is going to rain upon their party. All right. The Lord is the, the ultimate party pooper. OK, he's going to stop the party, the wine, the rejoicing while you're relaxing. He's going to make you stand upon your feet. He's going to make trouble, trouble for you on all sides. All right. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. You see, these other nations are not going to take it well. Okay, the Israelites, they're not going to take it well. It says when he uh, is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him mm, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So that means he's going to he's going to uh, interrupt your party. He's, he's going to party. He's going to. Uh, you know, stop your party, man. All right. So 
Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.